Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusail Stadium just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we're about to bring you a very big occasion indeed, the semi-final of the World Cup. It's Brazil versus Argentina. Well, what a moment for both these teams. Just one step away from the final. But it's the visitors and their fans that are expecting to get through to the big day. But this is by no means an easy game for them, as their host can be really dangerous if they play at their best. Messi. Marquinhos. Neymar. Jesus. Rafinha. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Going short. Happy to take on the shot, and not cleared away properly. And trying to build ahead of steam, another corner it'll be. He succeeds in clearing it. Plenty of support here. And can they forge ahead? And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Goal for hosts, number 10. Marcos Acuna and a fine tackle Di Maria Marcos Acuna Martinez corner conceded it came off the defender and still dangerous well it came to nothing in the end Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Well, here's the replay, and you can see Di Maria's cross is played into a really dangerous area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection goal with the ball, leaving the Argentina. keeper with little chance. Number it's 22. a great goal. Lotaro so in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Gabriel Jesus. Now with Danilo. The fourth official has indicated Marqueta. there will be a minimum they could not of two minutes cross. of Aaron time. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. No problems grabbing hold of that one. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time now, please here. please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. The defenders will be removed from the stadium. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Acuna Di Maria Marcos Acuna Not high quality defending Outrageously skillful Neymar And it's Gabriel Jesus Magnificent challenge from Otamendi. Paqueta takes the shot. And the keeper stretching to deny him. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, not the best clearance. And a goal! Wild celebrations! 
Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. Goal. And they're making a change. Number 11. And the ball is rolling Lucas again. Who won the score? What's going to happen next? And a tidy challenge. Lo Celso. Di Maria. And a play for an Argentina throw. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Danilo. Fabinho. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserve their lead, but they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. Now, who can he play it to? But really sticking to the task defensively. Di Maria. Gomez. The fourth official has and the electronic forward showing and Messi! Still alive. On a time for composure on the ball. And there goes the whistle. Music to the ears of all the fans. The game, the They've only gone and made it through to the World Cup right right final. Well, I don't think anybody expected this, but what a performance from them. They showed great energy, they posed problems when they went forward, and they defended for their lives when it mattered. They now have to repeat that display. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Lucas Paqueta. Rafinha. Well, that's a good Brazil move in the making. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Coman. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Can he find the right pass? But timely defending when it mattered. Well, they have the ball once more. Vinicius Junior. Lucas Paqueta. Rafinha. Vinicius Junior. Can they forge ahead? And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And no nonsense defensive clearance. A danger here as he runs at them. Can they take the lead? And the danger clear. Karim Benzema. France moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Paqueta. Neymar. Jesus. Rafinha. At times, they make passing look easy. Casemiro. The fourth official has and he did what he had to do defensively. Two minutes of added time. Vinicius Junior. Plenty of support here. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. So, the whistle then. 
We're at the halfway stage Going in this match. Time, there will be a display from the police dog display team, so stay in your seats for that. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Rafael Varane. Pogba. Griezmann. Aurelien Chouameni. Good tackle, take it away. And France have possession again. Be sure to purchase today's main item of the game. A personalized scarf in team colors. The item of the game and is into the last 30 minutes now. Stands. Brazil now in a potentially dangerous position. Can he get them in front? Well, it might still work out for them. And diving to thwart him. Clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can keep possession now. And clears the danger. Something you don't see every day of the week. A triple substitution here. Rodrigo. Neymar. Could be. Oh, and it goes! The long wait is over! Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they Go come, though. The well, a dramatic moment Number near the end, and that might well be the decider. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in on the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. This could be the equaliser. Oh, terrific save. Well, that's surely it. That was possibly their last chance. What a great save that was. Rodrigo. Five minutes to go. Given away by Pogba. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this. This could be it! A goal! And that is going to be that! Name on the trophy for certain! Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Number 23. So underway once more. Tuna. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy.